Yo, what's going on guys? It's Dylan, and I'm back again with another comic book rant. And today, I want to talk about Event Leviathan, issue 4 of the so-called mystery thriller by Michael Bendis and our, all the artwork by, uh, what was it, Alex? I know Maliev, I think it's Alex Maliev. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the art is pretty decent, pretty good. The story is, um, yeah, art and cover. Alex Malik. And, um, yeah, so this is, this is a controversial story. It's a controversial writer on it. And, man, this guy might get more, more, more shit than Tom King does. I don't know, though. Tom King has been getting harassed like crazy over Batman, uh, the Batman writing. But it's funny that the Superman a lot of people don't like and, uh, Batman by Tom King that people don't like. But people are going crazy over uh, Detective Comics. I know for sure, and I don't, I can't say about other people, but I know Action Comics is definitely my favorite out of uh, all the Superman stuff that Bendis has written, or um, really just any of the Superman stuff that's out right now. Besides, you know, him, uh, Superman's in like Justice League. It's that Superman Year One. <sighs> don't even get me started on that one. But so, I mean. Uh, the artwork is it's it's good it's uh it's different though it um some panels are better than others the colors are are really out there i feel i feel like this is one that a lot of people might criticize but you know the dialogue is really good in this i think that's one thing that bendis can really always do very well is um dialogue because honestly, this whole issue is just them sitting around in a room basically talking about what happened with Superman. And he basically, you know, he got stuck in a, he, uh, there's like some le temporal force. Leviathan energy matrix is like what he called it. And he, he couldn't really, um, overpower it, I believe. That one, that left me kind of confusing. The art was really out there, but it looked pretty cool. And basically, you know, um, they want to talk to Superman, but he tells everyone to get out of the room, and he wants to just speak to Batman and uh, Lois. And, um, man, I really like Plastic Man, and uh, I, um, you know, some of these characters, it's just like, really? Like, they're detectives. I mean, Batman, no doubt. You know the question. He makes sense. Uh, you know, Green Arrow. Yeah, he makes sense too. But you know, some of these people, like Lois Lane, obviously. You know, Damien. But Plastic Man, like, what the hell is Plastic Man doing over here? But yeah, one thing. You know, if you've been up to date on all of these issues, you remember. And I don't remember if it was last issue or the issue before. Bat or Batgirl, sorry, Batgirl, she got approached by Leviathan, and she got the offer to either join or die, I believe, and nobody's seen her since, but toward a little bit closer to the end, she, um, she appears, and she reaches out to Batman, basically does like a little Skype FaceTime call, and, um, you know, she says that all of the agencies, the DEO, Argus, um, what was it, uh, I mean, all of the, um, Spiral, all of them have been corrupted and signed over, basically, to, um, Leviathan, and everyone's, um, basically, Leviathan is taken over, slowly but surely, and, uh, they have no clue still who Leviathan could be. They can't. Uh, he has some. Who he or she? They have some special technology where Superman and Batman can't even see into the. Uh, you know, do the X-ray vision. It, it won't work on him. He has some type of technology that's uh, affecting them to not be able to see who he really is or she. I have a feeling it's a he though because Batgirl says something and um, then Robin's like it's definitely a he question mark so he asks her if she knows who Leviathan is because the connection is keeps getting interrupted it looks like and um, 
basically she accepted the offer to join Leviathan, you know, and she says there's a lot of us here and I think I am the only one undercover. So that means there's a lot of familiar faces, I'm thinking, that have already signed over and are with Leviathan. Yeah, but either way, they are making a big play tomorrow morning, she says. So she um, she's trying to give them some inf info because they are literally, uh, for the greatest detectives, they have nothing. I don't think, man, nothing. Um, so they needed that big, big time. And basically, um, something's up with Lois Lane. She, she sneaks off with the car. And, um, basically, you know, you get the reveal. If y'all don't want to see the last page, turn away now. But, you know. Oh my god, I just knocked over my mic. Sorry about that if there's a crappy, um, sound for a half a second and you know um I'm thinking they have some info for her and um I don't know next story is going to be called the other detectives but this one I just really think that Bendis isn't going to reveal who the uh who Leviathan is till issue six I just think it's like it reminds me of one of those thriller movies where they're trying to make you think like a, a whodunit almost and they want you to think it was they want you to think it, it's Damien for a second they want you to think it might be plastic man they might they don't they want you to be unsure who this is and think that you know when they do the reveal it's going to be some huge reveal but we'll see you know um yeah this was pretty, this was okay but definitely gonna be a lot better but check out my uh be on the lookout for my detective comics review up next and uh if you could like and subscribe it'd mean a lot and uh i'll have a lot more content coming and i'll catch you on the next one guys see ya